Hello. What, what's up, guys? Welcome to TBBHD. Today we have a reviewing, and today, hold on, we are gonna have drum roll, please. We have the 2012 Hall of Fame class, the Four Horsemen. We got this at Target, and it was on sale for 20 bucks, and we got it. It's all elites, and four elites like cost like 80 bucks, and we just got four of them for 20 bucks. So we got four elites for the price of one elite. So we're going to go review it, and here we go. Bye. Okay, so the package, uh, it looks really cool. Like, you have like the Hall of Fame background, as you can see. Hall of Fame 2000 background, 2012 background, and then it. Right here, it says Class of 2012, and it comes with Ric Flair, Aaron Anderson, Arn, Arn, oh yeah, Arn Anderson, uh, Barry Windham, Barry Windham, and Tully Blanchard, Tully Blanchard, and you can see all the guys up here, of course, Isn't Arn there? Anderson with the best spine buster ever, yep, so... Let's get into these figures. So, Woo! there we go. We'll be back in three, two, one. Of course, Tully Blanchard. Um, I don't really know a lot about him, but um, of course he's a part of the Forceman. I four Horsemen, yeah, Forceman, yeah. Um, he kind of looks like Larry Zbysko, but um, yeah. Uh, he has a nice chair. He, he has a nice hairy chest. <laughs> Yeah, his gear. Uh, do an up and down shot of his gear. Uh, of course. Uh, no, the gear. I know. Okay. The gear. He kind of. Yeah, he really reminds me of uh, Larry Sabisco a little bit. But. Yeah. Alright. Hold on. And then here's the back part of his gear. Oops. Not really much. No, it's pretty generic. Of course. Now let's do some poses. Is Barry Windham, of course. He was supposed to be a tag partner with Dustin Rhodes, the natural to f uh, for the uh, tag team champions at WCW, uh, which was he was also included in the WWE 2K16 DLC, uh, not actually being a playable character, of course. Um, but yeah, this is Barry Windham, of course. Uh, Sporting, uh, let's go on the back. It's got a nice ponytail. I don't know if this uh, jacket is removable or not. Probably is, but I guess I'm. But I'm not gonna get it out. Um, boots. There's his boots. Very red and black. Uh -huh. Now let's do some poses. Three, two, one. Anderson. He is, uh, of course, the, he is the enforcer of the Four Horsemen. Yes, he is a former ta uh, WCW Tag Team Champion uh, with uh, Larry Sabisco. They were the, uh, for the enforcers, and yes, uh, they, he did the spot. He was at WrestleMania 19 uh, when he s did the best spine buster to The Undertaker. Um, yeah, it was really good. Uh, it was so hype. Uh, yes, he pulls out the best spine busters, in my opinion. And he, and Ric Flair, yeah, he was helping Ric Flair in the match, and he, Ric Flair almost had him. Yeah. Oh, well. And well, let's make some poses. Don't you have to review him? Oh, yes, of course. Um, uh, here's his balding spot a little bit, right here. This guy. A very hairy chest. Of course, it's kind of the same as this figure, sorta. Uh, it's a lot of red. There's white here. There's red back here. Uh, red and white. You must love America. Yep. 
Alright, let's make some poses. Time for the Nature Boy, the 16th time World Heavyweight Champion. Woo! Of course, you have my eyes on this. One of the greatest of all time, Ric Flair. Woo! Woo! That's Ric Flair. He is the father. He is the father of uh, Charlotte. He is the father of David Flair and Reed Flair, who recently passed away. Uh, yes, of course. And he is a multi-time world champion, of course. Sixteen-time, of course. And a two-time Hall of Famer. And a two-time WWE Hall of Famer. Right, let's absorb his hair, which is looking very awful, like always. <coughs> like it should be. <clears throat> Backside, of course, very generic. Knee pad, knee pads, boots, everything. It has his initials on his boots. Oh, it does it. Or F. Yep. Rec Flyer. Alright, let's get some poses. This is the Four Horsemen. Yes, the four men in the WCW that overtook the stable name. The Four Horsemen. Ric Flair, Arn Anderson, Barry Windham, and Tully Bullock. Blitch. What's his name? Tilly Blitcher, something. Um, there was more, there was different members, but always, it was always Ric Flair in the stable, and Art Anderson. So yes, that is our review of The Four Horsemen. So let's get one last pose, and cue The Four Horsemen theme music. Like, comment, and subscribe. Just do it!